Can you tell me about matchmaking for Cheryl Cole and Prince Harry? Since, uh, oh, that was a we uh, like a weird, one of those weird. The two of them together or Prince separately? Prince Harry's wingman. A little bit, yeah, but not in a very weird. I did that Jubilee gig. Remember that big thing they made at the Jubilee? There was a big gig on oh, yeah. outside Buckingham Palace. Right. And then there was a big party in the palace afterwards. It was such a bizarre day, but kind of people kind of knocking around and bumped into sort of Prince Harry almost uh, immediately. Sort of that we walked in, Prince Harry was just there, and they'd done this interview the week before where he'd gone. I sort of can't find love. It's really difficult for me because no woman wants to buy into this incredibly difficult lifestyle. Of being, you know, in the royal family, and I said, "Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah," because women famously don't want to be princesses. No, I hate that. <laughs> and then I, I bet Cheryl Cole was playing at the, at the concert, and I'd spoken to her earlier in the day and gone, "Now you're single, he's single," and she was really, cut, and she was going, "Oh, don't embarrass me, don't embarrass me," and you know, as she would. Um, was that an impression? I think I, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and then so I was chatting away with, with you know, Prince Harry and I said, look, Gerald Cole's over there. Do you want to come over and, and, and have a chat? Because she's single, you're single, and it'd be super funny and she'll be horribly embarrassed and, and uptight about it because I said I would. And he went, yeah, definitely, let's do it. <laughs> it was kind of really up for it, just went over and it was incredibly charming and nice. That's, about, that's the end of that story. Charming. Yeah, he was, he was very young. He's a really, he's everyone's favourite, I think.